Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Malik Joe 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. So, uh, you know, I'm going to show you quick demonstration and uh, quick uh, uh, tricks and uh, tweaks in my, uh, you know, uh, uh, clusterware administration and the rack database administration. So a uh, few of the basics, uh, you know, a uh, few of the uh, core understanding of uh, clusterware and the and the rack database is must for one one DBS. And uh, if you understand the core concept and four core functionalities and uh, you know if you uh, if you get those particular tricks how you can uh, smartly administrate your clusterware so that you know you can uh, uh, you know you can handle any any kind of your clusterware issues or you know you can you can handle any kind of troubleshooting in your uh, clusterware environment uh, in the in your rack setup right whether it's related to rack database or whether it's related to clusterware so everything will you know it will be handy and you can easily troubleshoot them so you know let's get start with all this uh, you know uh, one of the new uh, uh, session uh, this is going to be a continuation series for rack and clusterware administration so i'll be uh, keep adding this particular document and i uh, you know i'll be keep updating the uh, this particular document and explaining all the all the concept whatever i feel uh, it's a good so uh, we'll start with the uh, ocr and olr and gpnp profile and clusterware startup uh, you know start and shutdown uh, uh, process I think I'll cover it today's session and uh, before I get started the today's technical explanation if you are new to my channel always go back to YouTube and search for Malik Jyoti 4 and then please do subscribe if you like my videos please uh, don't forget to give your thumbs up and please share with your friends and colleagues and if you missed out my previous sessions or uh, lecture uh, it will be always available in my YouTube channel Malik Jyoti 4 you can uh, anytime go back to YouTube and refer that particular uh, session which you missed it Right, let's start with the today's session. Uh, the first question is how to find my OCR location. Because uh, you know everyone knows it's a OCR uh, cluster, uh, you know, uh, you know all my cluster registry will be located in my OCR. Uh, you know and then uh, uh, one has to identify where is my OCR location how to find out there are many various various methods and the, the easiest and simplest methods is uh, check for your ETC Oracle and ocr.loc this is a particular file and if you cat this one you will get it you can see right ocr configure underscore location it's a plus data and this is a directory and ocr file and this is my ocr registry right ocr file it is in data disk group this is the one way you can check it out other ways you can query this crctl query css o disk let me run this particular command right right you can see data c1 is the disk and data disk group this is at your using crctl query you can find it out and if you want actual location you can you can you can find it uh, using this this particular ocr location or else if you uh, just to verify it you can log into your grid and smcmd okay go to this particular location do ls you can see ocr do ls again here you can see right registry this is your ocr file right so if i can go to the next question how to find my olr location how you can find your olr location olr everyone knows olr is my local registry uh, each node of my cluster if i have four node cluster all four node will be having uh, their individual olr that is local registry that contains uh, the the cluster where uh, information which are related to that particular node if i cat this one cat etc oracle olr.loc i will see my olr location see olr config underscore location it is under grid home c data olr this is my node name with the node name i can say dot olr this is my olr location if i do ls hyphen l this particular file i can see my olr location similarly if i do cat on the other node i have two clusters second node here you can see this is a file olr of that node 2 if i do this particular file is available or not ls definitely you can see this particular file is available and the other method is you can see ocr check hyphen local config again that will point to the same olr 
see it is pointing to the same thing so if I do the same thing on the other node right that also pointing to the same location right that's about OCR and OLR and what is GPNP profile and what it contains everyone knows GPNP profile is uh, you know uh, if you see a uh, cluster where startup sequence and uh, you know how your cluster where uh, 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 your, your ESM, uh, how your cluster where will start, right? So since your, uh, you know, uh, your password file is under this group and your SP file is under your disk group and, uh, you know, to start your cluster where, uh, first it has to read your SP file and your voting disk and uh, everything whatever available in your ESM disk group. But without starting your ESM and ESM disk group, how cluster where will start? Which one will cluster? ASM will start first or cluster where will start first? Right, that is a conflicting question and that is that is uh, you know one of the challenging question, right? So for that, you know, there's a there's a there's a concept called GPNP profile. GPNP profile is uh, you know uh, the the XML file which contains all these information. So I'll quickly uh, show you that how it looks and what is the purpose of my GPNP profile. So I will go to, let me go here. This is the location, grid home, GPNP, and go inside your profiles. Sorry, uh, profiles are node name, whatever it is. So peer, right? So this is profile.xml. If you do cat, you can see this is the output. So if I just copy this one, to my already copied here okay if you can see here right first thing is version what is my GPNP version and leave all this this is all like uh, name of that uh, come here the cluster UID first thing is cluster UID and the second thing is cluster name and if you see here host name host ID and you can see the adapter net1 net1 ip address adapter and the public and net2 adapter and cluster interconnects and the important thing is if you if you observe your discovery string and the discovery string of plus asm and discovery string is dev oracle disks and if you see here sp file sp file is data and this is a parameter file right your sp file asm sp file okay signature you can see right signature is also one of the important thing right so you, your asm you be, before starting your cluster uh, service cluster where or cluster resources your asm will not start and if your asm will not start and your cluster resource will not start Right, that both are like interdependent and in that case which one will start first ASM or the cluster where so if we ASM is starting first how ASM is starting if you see here the SP file is inside this group and discovery string also you can see it is pointing to my ASM disk so without mounting my disk groups how ASM instance will start so again that is one of the challenging and trickiest question right so if you if the ASM want to start and if the cluster resource want to read my voting disks and my uh, cluster registry information it will first read my GPNP profile and it will get it will get the details where are my voting disk and where are my uh, you know uh, 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 SMSP file and where are my voting disks all those what are my cluster registry resources everything it will get it uh, with the help of this and then you know your cluster services will start and then your later asm instance will start so for that if i go further the next question asm and cluster where which one will start first for that if you see here right if this particular k fed with the help of this k fed utility first it will read my voting disk what are the content of my voting disk if I do kfed of this particular disk and I can see start header and end header both I am able to see I am this kfed utility is able to read my 
this asm disks and to start your clusters resources your asm instance is no need to be up and running what cluster resource will read cluster resource will read my gpn pfo file and it will get where is my voting disk and where are like using this discovery string what are my uh, disk uh, the disks belongs to my cluster where and it will read with the help of kfed with the start header and the end header and it will read my uh, voting disk and it will get the uh, my cluster services and it will start my uh, you know asm instance that's the beauty of my kfed utility that is a os utility which will helps during the cluster resource startup irrespective of whether your asm instance asm disk groups are mounted or not with the help of gpnp for file and with the help of kfed i am able to find out what is the content of my voting disk i can read my voting disk with the help of kfed and cluster services will be started and later my asm instance will start and again it will read it will mount the disk group and it will start with the sp file right that's about the uh, you know cluster where uh, services which one will start first and which one will start uh, you know uh, later and now coming to the cluster where startup sequence so first thing is check crs details check crs it will uh, you know tell it will tell you what is whether uh, your cluster resource up and running or not like crs detail check crs it will say oracle high availability online cluster ready service online cluster synchronization service online event manager is online same thing if i run it on the other node you can see node 2 right it's also online here and uh, enable and disable you can do this is auto start enable if you do the moment you do your server reboot at once the server is back online automatically it will start your cluster as a service if you disable it after your uh, server restart your asm or your cluster resource will not start automatically if you disable it right and the stop command the command is share ctl stop crs hyphen f if you stop crs did not work you have to use forcefully hyphen f and the start command is crs detail start command start crs so before start command you have to uh, before bringing down your cluster where you have to check crs detail stat resource hyphen t hyphen init and the other thing is without hyphen init right these are the two commands you have to check it out that will list out what are my cluster resources are up and running that is one of the preliminary checks it will uh, take a backup you have to take a backup before uh, doing any uh, operation right any any of the cluster where activities see crctl stat resource hyphen t hyphen init and similarly on the other node also you can run this command right you can see uh, what are the cluster services are up and running it will show here and similarly on node one also you can see here and if you do without hyphen in it it will list out all my cluster services or cluster resources and if i do it on the other node also right so if you see right all the cluster resources here asm listener data disk group listener rico and net1 ons avd proxy advm and my scan listeners and management database management listener asm and management uh, database and my vips scan vips node vips all are like all all the cluster resources it will it will list out and the and the other uh, other command is stop crs hyphen f and then start crs i will just uh, do stop crs you have to do it uh, you know as a root user starting shutdown of oracle high availability service on node 1 all right if you see here oracle high availability service has been stopped right so if i do ps hyphen ef quickly ps hyphen ef grab ps mon so nothing is running if i do d dot bin 
nothing is running if i do check crs crs ctl check crs also will not communicate right so the next command is to start crs ctl start crs and if you see this log some of the services are uh, uh, no shifted to uh, node 2 you can see the scan listeners are shifted to node 2 management listeners and management database everything is shifted to node 2 whatever the available are uh, you know available cluster nodes i'm just starting the uh, you know uh, cluster back now crs detail start crs it will just say one word oracle high availability started and you have to wait for all the uh, you know cluster resource cluster service to come online right oracle high availability service has been started if you do psfnef grep d dot bin it will be keep starting all the services if you see s1 you won't see any uh, services yet because it will uh, it will it will slowly start all the services for that as i said crctl stat resource hyphen t it will say uh, you know if the services are started on a cluster service like see you know cluster ready services and crsd and cts everything started then it will be able to communicate with the other nodes so for that you have to use hyphen init that will list out only core services if you see here asm is online CR, crsd is offline re crsd cluster uh, you know uh, ready services is offline so that that has to come online in order to communicate with the other cluster node evm you can see intermediate it is starting now again do one more time it's again intermediate and you can see crsd is offline crf is offline and do d admin one more time you can see all the cluster uh, demons are getting started now again do s1 still not online you do again this hyphen t hyphen in it you can see ctsst is observer mode you can see all these are online evmd is still intermediate storage it's starting now Yep, you can see SM is started here now. If I do one more time, init. Yep, you can see right storage is online, and CRST is online. CRST is intermediate. It is getting up now. One more time, EVMD is still intermediate. You can your SM is online here, and you can do CRSTL check CRS. Oracle high availability is online. Cluster synchronization service is online. Event manager is st getting started. And cluster ready service CRS is not yet online. For that again do hyphen T hyphen init. I can see CRS is still intermediate. And uh, event management, event manager is online now. Now you can do check CRS. Event manager is online. Earlier it was not started right now you can see it is online i can see now everything is online high availability is online ready service is online synchronization service is online event manager is online if i do again in it i share ctl shared resource hyphen t hyphen in it crst is online cssd is online event manager everything is online so now if i do ps hyphen ef grep s1 you can see right asm is online all the resource if you can see d dot bin right see all the cluster you know, resources including all the core uh, core services and scan listener management listener everything is online so now if i do crs detail stat resource hyphen t hyphen in it you will see all the cluster uh, resources can see right all the cluster resources are online okay so that's it for the today's session so i will append this document with few more administration commands and tasks so we'll discuss uh, in tomorrow's session thank you guys